What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena, and I decided to, to give all of the enfranchised players a bit of a break. And we're going to play some sweet Abzan Control. Abzan, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Anyway, uh, this essentially is just like Merchant's deck, uh, but I love Abzan. Uh, any of you who saw the uh, the 1k Q&A will know, Abzan is my favorite color combination. Um, Technically, I'd prefer a mid-range deck. However, I don't have all the cards I would want for that mid-range deck yet. Um, and I figured I was going to wait for um, for rotation to start that. But this essentially is just a sweet no-creature control deck that wins with essentially just Karn and Vraska. <laughs> um, be sure to check out Merchant's uh, video. I think I'll link it in the description. I had no idea. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we have four Fatal Push because Fatal Push is uh, the premier removal spell early on. Two Baffling Ends, not the best, but can uh, definitely uh, fake being a Fatal Push in a pinch. Four Seal Aways, because Seal Aways are also incredibly good. Two Treasure Maps. I was actually surprised. I didn't think Treasure Map was going to be as good as it turned out to be. Um, early game, we can just scry to fix our draws a little bit better. And late game, we get to draw. <laughs> it's very good. This this card is surprisingly good. Um, one Thopter Arrest. Again, a, a card I thought was going to be kind of meh. Um, I ended up exiling a lot more artifacts than I expected. Mostly Vehicles. <laughs> Um, three Doomfalls. Doomfalls are fantastic when they get a god out, or it's fantastic for making it so that they can't play something big and stupid that we can't deal with. Three Ixalan's Binding. Gets rid of a, a key card and makes it so they can't play that key, key card anymore. Um, I, because of my dumb hubris, I decided to try out cast outs for a little bit, and I realized, like, Ixalan's Binding in this style of deck is actually just better. Um, you don't need the flash, uh, nearly as much, like, the, the fact that you're able to stop them from playing multiple cards has come in handy uh, several times. And the reason you know that is you Ixalan's Binding, and then later on you Doomfall, and you see, oh, they have another card in their hand. They can't play it. Sweet. Um, I'm running one Torment of Scarabs because I don't have another card, and I'm saving all of my wild cards for viewer-submitted decks. <laughs> so, uh, Torment of Scarabs essentially is like card number three. <laughs> Um, but I mean, it, it, it's helped out, you know, it, against, uh, against mid-range control decks, it does still do work. It's not the powerhouse that Karn is, but it's effective. Three Vrasis Contempt, uh, probably my favorite removal spell, um, in, in a long time. Just the, the, the functionality of this card is so good. It's so strong. It's also why it's the, the key art, because I love it. Two Karns, Karn is going to end up winning the game. Like, this is probably what I've won with the most. Um, and you might be saying, but how? He just makes hard advantage. No, look at his minus two. <laughs> he kills people. That's what he's for. Um, I'm running one Cleansing Nova and, Nova and two Fumigates. Uh, Merchant was running uh, only Cleansing Nova. He said essentially that it was for being rotation proof. Um, I mean, the account's going to be wiped afterward anyway, so I don't really care too much about that. Um, and additionally, I'm saving my wild cards <laughs> for viewer submitted decks, so... Essentially, I had to kind of sub in for Fumigates, and Fumigate, it's fine, right? The reason I'm still running one Cleansing Nova instead of just three Fumigates is because sometimes you will need to destroy some artifacts and enchantments. It's not going to happen very often, but say you're running up against, like, a mill, Cleansing Nova helps against that. Excuse me. Four Eldest Reborn, because this card is the actual best. We don't need to run a ton of win conditions when we just steal our opponent's win conditions. Uh, I love that this card is in the deck because I love this card. Um, I mean, I've, I've played it in so many different decks at this point. Um, the, it's, it's, you know, five mana sacrifice, then the next turn, it's five mana sacrifice plus a discard, then the next turn, you get to reanimate something, which essentially is just, um, what, rise from the graves, right? Five mana, rise from the graves, except it, you can get a planeswalker too. It's so good. And of course, two Vraskas, because we need... We need, we need Vraska. She's 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 just great. Uh, gets rid of almost any problem you have, unless it's a Planeswalker, um, and can easily take the game over in a couple of turns by herself. Our mana base is, uh, as always, not what it should be. There should be more Concealed Courtyards, fewer basics. Um, Merchant wasn't running uh, an Arch, but I found that even adding one Arch, even though like my mana base isn't perfect, doesn't hurt me too often. Now, it has hurt me, but it hasn't hurt me too often, and it does help a lot uh, in the in the control v control matchup um because he he did point out that that was one of his difficult uh, most difficult matchups and I, I figured throw in a single land to to help alleviate some of that problems but essentially you're gonna want a few more of of the duels that's that's essentially it um the deck is pretty strong it blanks all of your opponent's removal 
Um, I should say all of your opponent's creature removal, because we're not running creatures. We are just not. Um, obviously, they can kill their own creatures when we get them back with uh, uh, the Eldest Reborn, or they can kill, like, the uh, the tutus made by Vraska or Karn. Going against Safe Haven here. Um, but, for the most part, it's going to be stuck in their hands. So, let's see. We are going first. That's fantastic. This is an okay hand. I have been burned by keeping two landers before. If this is a more aggressive or mid-range deck, this hand is probably fine because we do have double seal away to buy time. Um, we are running 26 lands. I, I should have showed the, uh, the little chart there. Um, we are running 26 lands because this is a control deck. Um, I think I... Um, I'm actually going to mulligan. I think it's correct to mulligan there. Two, you don't want two lands in a control deck, even though I had plays. Um, so this one is slightly different. And the reason it's slightly different is, one, we get a scry. Two, we have all three of our colors. Um, and we have a potential turn one and turn two, and turn three and turn four. Um, whereas before we had essentially the ability to only, like, have two plays. Um, so I will keep this, and I'll keep that on top. Go ahead and play this, and see what my opponent is on. And depending on what it is, we can just fatal push it. Okay, don't know what it is yet. Um, we're showing that there, we're Abzan, but that's that's fine. We would have showed that with the forest anyway, and I chose this forest art because it's it's just nice. You don't have to tell me that you're thinking. Glint sleeve, that's gonna die. Goodbye. I've, I've been loving playing this deck. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it took me so long to decide to make it. Like, as soon as I saw that the, the video, a uh, Merchant's video, I was like, oh, I, I have to make this deck. I love Obzon. I love Control. All right, so Fatal Push doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter, right? All of these cards are meaningless to me. For Ask of Contempt, the only card that actually is going to matter. So my opponent is on blue-black Control, I guess? We got another land, that's cool. So we can Ixalan's Binding uh, Planeswalker or something. It, it might be mid-range? I can't tell. Siphoner, sure. Um, I'm gonna save the Brass Contempt. I might, I might Binding that, honestly. Just because we do have Contempt. It depends on what I draw, I suppose. Draw a land fine um i don't want them to draw a card with it i guess it is it's just one card but ixlon's binding can like answer their planeswalkers better but then again this might just be a um a blue black mid-range deck based on based on what i'm seeing i think this is just a blue black mid-range deck which means they maybe have Karn, definitely have Scarab God, and Scarab God can get sealed away. Um, I think I will go for Binding here. And essentially, the reason the reason I'm making this decision is so that they can't draw an additional card. Interesting. Decides to kill his own card. Um, I do think that was a reasonable play. Um, they might have realized that I'm not going to be playing many, if any, creatures. Um, so killing killing their own creature there just means they're going to be able to play another one uh, if they do end up drawing it. I, I think that was actually a good play on my opponent uh, on my on my opponent's part. There was one play I made a while ago during um, Return to Ravnica Standard. Where my opponent was trying to detention sphere one of my, uh, I had voice of resurgence. I was playing Abzan, of course, um, and I had several voice of resurgence tokens because I was also playing Tristani because I'm a mad lad. Um, and they were they went to dis detention sphere and they had to target one of them first. I abrupt decayed my own uh, voice of resurgence token in response and ended up winning that game. It was lovely. Right, uh, Winning our opponent here, making a decision on what to do. 
They could have stepped away. They could be... Okay, there we go. Another land. We do want to start hitting our, like, actual cards. Um, treasure map is helpful. Um, any of our planeswalkers would be helpful. And I'm just going to keep playing lands. Um, never know when we're going to need a massive amount. Oh, wait. So we have Eldest Reborn here. Um, I could use it now, but I don't think I should. Um, I think I should wait until they play something a little bit more frightening. Or just anything at all. Um, because all I can really get back here is a Glint Sleeve, and I don't think I care too much about that. Right, if I play it now, essentially I'm, I'm getting the discard next turn, but nothing else. So yeah, I think I'm going to pass the turn. I, I, I don't need to do anything. Right? My opponent's not making me do anything. Well, that's unfortunate. So they're going to start drawing more cards. They're doing so now. Okay. Yeah, so I would not mind a Cleansing Nova or another Binding. Or Vraskas. All right. So hopefully my opponent doesn't have a counter spell here. Looks like they're going to draw, which is interesting. I guess they know that I'm going to destroy that. Now hopefully they don't also have a Vrasus Contempt. Um, I did get rid of one of them, but they very well could have another by now. But if they don't, this Vraska alone can, uh, can make my opponent's life difficult. But I, I do assume Vras is going to get contempted here, and that's what it looks like. Yep, it's unfortunate, but yeah. I was at least able to get rid of their draw engine before they went too far. Land and pass. And this is going to happen a lot in this deck. Um, you're, you're just kind of waiting until you get your cards. Oh, look, it's a card. Oh, it looks like this one might get counterspelled. Hmm. I guess I guess this is blue black control. Running glint sleeves. Sure. I do not feel pain. Yeah, shut up, Karn. So I can get that back with El uh, Elder Shaborn. I'm still not gonna play it just yet. Because I do want to get... I want to maximize the value I'm getting out of it. Because this is definitely going to be a value fight. Ixalan's Binding here is great. Another another catch-all answer. So I really need to draw my arch. Or my treasure map. Or just another... Uh, another planeswalker. Scarab dot. Sure, sure. So I'm actually going to Ixalan's Binding this, I think. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Sure. That's fine. Because that I'm gonna, I'm gonna Eldest Reborn. But I don't want them to be able to play any more Scarab Gods. Yes, I think that's the correct plan of action. Is that power? No, converted mana cost. Does this have a converted mana cost? It does, but I can use that instead of uh, Elder Born if I wanted to. But let's go ahead and get rid of Scarab God. So that shuts off one avenue. Um, and do I Elder Born now? I do get some value out of it. I lose my treasure, but I don't actually think that's important. Um, Sure, and I'm doing this only because I have another... Uh, I have another catch-all removal in Vraska's, so I do kind of want to get this ticking. They're probably going to end up discarding the Essence Scatter, um, but this can help me get back Karn or anything dumb my opponent might play, although at, all my things are exile, so. All right, they're probably going to discard one of these that I know about. Yep, cast out, sure. I would, I would have kept the cast down, I think. Yeah, I think I would have kept the cast down. 
I guess they might be thinking that I'm running like one big creature or something, but my turn. I'm gonna go ahead and get Karn. Fumigate is nice. Karn will probably die. I, I don't have enough treasure. Like a lot of the times you'll have a, a bunch of treasures from treasure maps. Um, and the correct answer is, oh, they're just going to counter this. Sure. Sure, that's fine. Yep, that is fine. Uh, probably just seal this away. Yeah. So as Merchant said, this is probably one of the harder matchups. Just because we we do need to have more threats than they have answers, but they are running a ton of answers, so. <laughs> sure. I mean, they can't get it back with Scarab God, so there's... I don't know. Hey, look, it's Treasure Map. Treasure Map will be a giant help. Cool. Alright, fantastic. Alright, this, this video is going to be friggin' like two, two gameplays long. <laughs> Which is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and scry here. Don't need that. Sure, whatever. I will play it, because I don't really care. Uh, no reason to scry in my turn. I do want to get as much information from my opponent as I can. Looks like they're doing nothing. I will keep that. Once again, I think it's correct to just wait. I think it's correct to just allow my opponent to commit more to the board and respond. I mean, all they can really have is, I mean, sure, another one of those I don't really care about because I can just baffling into this, right? Not even use one of my premier removals. Essentially, all the win con I think that they have left are Torrentials, right? Because they can't Scarab God anymore. They, they probably have Karns. No, thank you. And now I can start drawing cards. Let's go ahead and baffling end this. Just wanted to make sure I was setting the correct mana. So my opponent has something that they can do. This is their third glint sleep, I think. Yeah. Well, while we're waiting, uh, quality of life improvement people are asking about is a history tab. So like maybe it's like right here and you like press something and then like you see like the past actions, right? You, you just like see, like maybe it would show baffling end um, and then like uh, an exile symbol on a glint sleeve, right? That's essentially what they do in um, a lot of card games, right? I, I think Hearthstone has it, Duelist has it, and Elder Scrolls Legends has it. Um, the problem is that some of them are better than others. And I think, honestly, that the Elder Scrolls Legends ones has the most explanation of what happened. Um, so like for this, it'd be Treasure Co, a, a, like a sacrifice symbol, and then like, a, a plus one draw, like card thing, right? Um, like as much explanation in individual tabs would be fantastic. Um, but even something just bare bones of like what has been activated would, it, like what has been activated and what things have been targeted or something, that would be helpful. Um, I don't know if they're able to implement it based on the way they've coded this so far, but I mean like there's empty space here, right? This this all usually is empty space. Um, so it'd be great if if they could add something like that just for not necessarily for players who are like not paying attention or or anything, but players who maybe didn't get a chance to read something, they don't realize where it went, something like that. Let's keep drawing cards. We we do not need this treasure, right? We have all the mana we could need. We're just trying to Ooh. 
I really should have waited on playing that land. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to start being able to have Archer Varaska here. Um, and that, that really is going to put the pressure on our opponent to, to end the game. We don't. The problem is we don't have a ton of... Like... We don't we don't have a ton of um threats left. Uh we have what like one one Vraska, one Karn, and a Torment of Scarabs? I mean we do have Elder Borns, which are helpful. We do need to worry about decking potentially. But I mean our opponent's not really doing anything. So we're kind of just looking for... We, we could have played this a long time ago, but I don't think it's correct to. I think we want to get maximum value out of, a, out of our cards. And we have plenty of things we can discard. We don't need this Fatal Push. We don't really need the Fumigate either. Um, we'll go ahead and play this. And just pass the turn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, stuff like that happens. Um, but I mean, here's where we put, like, emblem -y type things, right? Oh. I thought they would actually say the card names on them. Um, they have emblemy type things. And this can just, like, come out over here. Oh. Field of Ruin? No! You monster. I needed that. I'm actually just gonna fail to find. Right? Like, I don't need another land. Eh. Eh, I don't care. My, my thought was like, oh, it's going to save me a little bit from decking. I, it doesn't matter. I, I don't think 20, not 28 turns are going to pass. Right? I mean, I'll just pass the turn. I don't, I don't care. I mean, my opponent could have easily flashed in a Gearhawk to try and, like, hurt me. I guess my opponent is realizing that they need to maximize their value as well. This is this is a bug, I think. I'll go ahead and get rid of this. Um, my opponent doesn't, like, have a thing, but... My opponent should try doing something. Okay, so now we're about even on the, uh, the decking. The decking wars. Champion of Wits, sure. I assume they're finally going to get rid of this Essence Scatter. Yep. <laughs> and the Gold of Mine, sure. I mean, I'm keeping... That's interesting. I, I would have expected them to keep that in hand and cycle it. I mean, I can just... <laughs> it sounds weird, but I could just fumigate there. Hey, look, it stopped the arrest. Even better. Get off my screen. I would love for them to, like, flash in Gearhawk for no reason. Notably, I essentially cannot use this to destroy all artifacts and enchantments, or else they will get this back. <laughs> Just waiting on the opponent. Mm, okay, well, um... Another fun quality of life thing would be to show the percentage of any given set owned in one ofs and four ofs. So, like, on the, um... On the buy pack screen, you know, there's all of the... the set names on the side, like... M19, Dominaria, Ixlan, etc., etc., etc. Um, I saw on the the arena subreddit, someone just just suggested something like super easy of like just having a small like orange bar filling up. I would suggest also having an actual percent number. Um, they do that in uh, Elder Scrolls Legends. They have like a total of the set and then uh, each individual rarity. What I think would be great, they actually disallowed that. That is so interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So now that I have the ability to Gearhawk disallow 
on Eldest Reborn. How many Eldest Reborns have I gone through? Just just one? So I have two more Eldest Reborns in the deck. I guess I just forced their hand at this point. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna draw They're gonna draw more cards with this though. If I just make them sack it. No, I'd just be getting Karn back? No, I'd be getting Gearhawk back. Does this have to be an instant or can it be instant sorcery? Instant, okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'll do it. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I have two more in the deck. Um, obviously my opponent can uh, use Gearhulk to counter. But... I mean, we're, we're both on plenty of mana, right? So, um, But yeah, so if they showed something here for like... Or <laughs> imagine again that we're in the, the buy pack screen. If they showed something um, within those little like ovals showing like how much of each uh, common uncommon rare and then like the total percent um that that was a little loud i should maybe adjust the audio there we go um and then maybe you have a toggle for like um one ofs and then four ofs so just like how much of the set do you have in complete play sets how much is it just um sorry how much is it just one ofs right I mean, maybe at this point I do just fight for for them decking. Because, I mean, I have, I have three board wipes in my hand and a Vrasis Contempt. My opponent's thinking about something? Gets rid of that. Sure, sure. Uh, let's go and play Evolving Wilds. Let's just crack it now, because who cares? Actually, I'm going to take a look at my deck list. Or my, my deck right now, just to see exactly what I have left still. So yeah, we have a Vraska, a Karn. Several more Contempts. We do still have a uh, Torment of Scarabs. I really wish that wasn't on the screen. Thank you. Um, some more Ixalons Binding, Doomfalls. I mean, we still have plenty of removal here. I, I think it is fine. Um, I, guess what? I think it's fine just trying to fight for the decking. Um, <laughs> don't want to kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I might just want to take four here. And um, wait till my opponent torrentials next turn, so I can get two for one with this instead of just one for one. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense, right? So my opponent is almost certainly going to torrential into uh, disallow, and the, the third part of this again. Um, and when they do that, I I'm, I mean I'm fine with that, right? Like I've still got so, some value out of uh, Elderborn, essentially just making them play soft. Um, Stupid bug. Um, I, I do wish that our opponent's bar was here as well. Like, I know it's essentially just, like, what Hearthstone does, but it's it's very easy to read, right? Having it here. Um, but, I mean, we want them to do that so that we can get the Fumigate value. And if they counter Fumigate, we have another one. And if they counter that, we have a Cleansing Nova. Like, it's fine. Sure, yeah, that's, that's whatever. I don't care. Yeah, sure. I'll take four. Oh, no, I'm at 16. All right, so they're almost certainly going to counter this. They didn't. They didn't even remotely try and counter that. Interesting. Well, what's in my graveyard? What instance do I have? Because I could just, I could not get Karn. I could just get their Gearhulk, and Fatal Push, the token. All right. Let me just make sure. Has no mana cost. Okay. I'm going to take this. And that does open them to, like, more removal than just Contempt. Well, how many Contempts have they played? One, and then there's one in Exile. Um, I think that might be correct to just do that, because I think it's probably going to be more value over the long term than getting Karn, which sounds stupid, but I assume they're going to just kill stuff. Right? I assume that I'm actually not going to be able to get long-term value out of Karn, or anything that I get. Now they're disallowing? Uh, 
Oh, I didn't realize I had to target first. Oh, right, last time I, there, there was no targeting tab. Okay, I'm dumb. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. I'm just going to be able to fumigate here. Sure, sure, yep, I don't care. This is exactly what I wanted in the first place. And it goes up. That's, I, I like how well we're able to see that visually. Counter it, I don't care. I will play another Fumigate. Nope, they just let it happen. Alright, and I'll go and play a Blooming Marsh, because it doesn't actually matter, and I will pass turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of wish that I had, like, a red deck beforehand, just so I either died or won relatively quickly. But, see, so yeah, they're, they're essentially just keeping one-to-one -one guys down, and I think that's the correct thing for them to do. Um, that said, I want them to... <laughs> Is it correct to just want them to deck? I don't I don't actually know. I need to save the contempt, I think. Um, do I let them draw a card? They're at 17 cards. They're at six in hand, so like they have whatever they want. I think I'm just gonna let them draw. Right? If they haven't been playing aggressively, I don't think they would have changed anything about what they're playing, so. And one last <laughs> since this is probably gonna be a one. No, I need to play at least one more game. Um one last little quality of life improvement um, would be being able to give decks deck tags. Um, so probably by format, I think would be the most logical thing. So like in the deck creation thing, there'd be like a little section on tabs and you could say like, like if it's legal, like it shows you all of the, the events or all of the ladder things that are, that it's legal in. And then you could do like, okay, this is a, a standard deck. Um, this is for best of three ladder, best of one ladder, um, quick and shortcut, etc, etc. And if you use tags, so you can like toggle whether or not you're going to use them, if you use them, when you go to play, right, when you go to the play mode, hey look, it's the way, um, you can just see the cards that are going to be there, right? You can just see, are you gonna disallow this? Interesting. And of course, now we're getting to the point where Arena has the dumb memory leak issues. Um, yeah, sure, whatever, I don't care. Oh gosh, come on, Arena. Am I fine with them just continually drawing more cards? I mean, they have to play stuff. I guess they could kill me. And yeah, probably should have done something about that. Um... Gosh, what was I saying? All right, deck tags. Um, it'd be it'd be great if you could just give decks deck tags so that like when you go into um, quick play ladder, for example, you're not seeing like all of the decks you've created. Um, you're just seeing the best of one format decks that you want, or um, the decks that are in multiple that you know you're actually going to want access to. Um, that way, like, it's, it's a little bit easier to, like, digest and stuff, so. So this kills me in eight turns. Yeah, I, I have to get rid of this, I guess. So, yeah, I, I should have realized that earlier and just got rid of it. Dude, Arena, what the heck? What the heck? I guess it's just Arena's memory leak issues. Because it doesn't look like anything is freaking out. Hmm. That's annoying. And for those of you who are following the saga of my mail has been lost by the US Postal Service, Oh yeah, no, it's it's. I'm still dealing with it. I might just have to bite the bullet and like lose hundred something dollars to buy more RAM. But like, it's kind of ridiculous that the post office can like lose something and just no one cares. 
I'll use uh, my third Elderborn. Let's see if they torrential into disallow here. If they do, I will fumigate. Looks like it might be a torrential. Hey, look, it's a torrential. Sure. You're going to run out of counter spells. Man, Arena is chugging. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, yeah, I might have to bite the bullet and just waste a hundred some dollars. Because the damn US Postal Service lost my baggage. Do 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 do. This is a really annoying bug. I have no idea how much time my opponent has. Like literally no idea how much time they have. It should just be in the middle, like like yours. There's no reason for them to to split it up. Oh look, there we go. Mhm. Mm sure, I don't care. And I'll cast Fumigate again. I would like to cast Fumigate, please. Oh my gosh. Arena, why? I was about to say, like, either you have a response to it or you don't. Come on. Okay. So, I might have fixed Arena? Maybe? Nope. <laughs> Says might have fixed it. Messed it up more. My, my opponent might just, like, run out of timeouts. Because <laughs> they're taking so long. I'd be f I would love if they ran out of timeouts. <laughs> uh, guys, this is this is gonna be a one a one game video. <laughs> Why? Why do you take so long? Why is it whenever I play control I come up against other control decks? <laughs> I have no problem with control matchups in general, but when it's a control mirror, it's just like we're just sitting staring at each other. Uh now OBS is being stupid. Why 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 what do I have to deal with this? The encoding should not be overloaded. I'm doing the same preset I've always done. Okay, they're out of they're out of timeouts. That looks land. I'm down to two cards. I need I need some value here. That is a, a land. I only have one basic left, I believe. Well, how is the encoding overloaded? Ugh. It's a fatal push. I can use that to kill things. So, three of his Gearhawks have been used. Three of his Dislaws have been used. I don't know if he's running anymore, but the thing is, my opponent is certain to have some other, like, creature removal that they're just not going to be able to use, right? So I assume that that's just what's in their hand, right? They can't use any Scarab Gods. I assume they're pl they're, they don't have an answer to this. Liliana is a good card, and is exactly why I've been saving Brass's Contempt. Oh, it's you. I assume they're just going to get back a Torrential... Just to try and beat me to death. 
Because if they, I mean, it's, it's a relatively dangerous if they plus. I want them to plus, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yep, that's what I assumed. We go ahead and do this first. So if this if this gets countered, it's going to suck. Because I will need to draw essentially I don't know why I did that. I'll need to draw essentially just my other Elder Born. Oh I have I have other Vraskas, so. So I, I would need a good top deck, but like most of the cards that are left are good. And my opponent is roping, I think. <laughs> I can't tell, I assume. They shouldn't have... Yeah, they don't have a thing in the graveyard. They don't have a disallow in the graveyard, so... Oh, come on, man. I love, I love when I play zombies. I get, like, three or four games, always. I play... I play, like, Bolas or... Or this. I get like one every time. Oh look, it's a fatal push. The problem is I, ha I think I like have to cleansing over this because it kills me too quickly. Okay, got another contempt. Um, I think I keep the contempt over the cleansing nova. Right, because I assume they're playing another Liliana, so I think I have to do this. Don't counter it, bro. There's no way they wouldn't have countered it. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say there's no way they wouldn't counter it if, if they had a counter for Liliana, so. Uh, I'm low on cards, but there are low on cards in the deck. <laughs> it's a dangerous game you're playing, sir. I mean what are his what are his outs realistically? I don't think they have Karn, right? Like they're if if all of their Karns are in the last eight cards of their deck, that sucks. Um But like I assume all they have left is like Liliana. I guess probably another um, another champion of wits, probably two. Do I can seal away the champion? How much? How much lands do I have? Four. Uh, the, the, the math is easy. Twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two. I have twenty-two of my twenty-six lands. <laughs> yeah, sure. Are any of them in the graveyard? One, two. So I have 24 of my 26 lands. There are only two lands left in here. Everything else is gas. <laughs> oh man, I bet I bet the re retention for this video is going to be garbage. <laughs> hey, look at Scattered Groups. I'm cycling the hell out of this. Alright, so I should only have one land left in the deck. If I, if I counted correctly. I might have counted wrong. If I counted wrong, I'm stupid. Hey, look, it's a Vraska. I don't even think I cast this card, guys. I don't even think I cast this card. No, they have six. I, I don't, right? I, I use this as a removal spell. I use this as a six mana removal spell. If you guys think I'm wrong, I probably am. But. <laughs> my opponent's. The thing is, my opponent isn't doing anything. They only have six turns left. Five turns left. Because on their sixth turn, they're dead, right? They have to do something. I don't have to do anything. I'm still at what? 12 cards left? I'm fine. This is this is stupid. <laughs> Merchant, if you're watching this, which I have no idea if you are, what what you do against control is you just use everything as removal and make them deck. But wouldn't it be wouldn't it be some nonsense if our opponent just like had an excess of fate or something and they were just being evil? Like I can't I can't do anything about an excess of fate. I, I would have to doomfall it. But as soon as it starts, I can't do anything about it. So, so that'd be awkward. So this one's just gonna help me fix my draws. Oh man, this is this is funny for everyone who's stuck with me. Thanks, because <laughs> I'm like going insane. Um, I talk a little bit about the uh, the YouTube creative process for me. Um. What I'll, what I'll end up trying to do for most of the, the videos I make is um, have the gameplay be like front, like the front center thing. Um, talk a lot about my decisions, talk a lot about um, individual matchups, what I'm thinking about, uh, the cards my opponent might be playing, what cards I think they aren't playing, what plays I think I'm making that are good, what plays I think I'm making that are bad. 
Um, opponent, you have no more timeouts. Um, that that is what I try to make uh, front and center. And then I try to add on a little bit of a, a like MTG Arena news, MTG, MTG news in general. I need to stop talking so quickly. <laughs> um, and I try to just supplement that when there's a, a little lull in the in the gameplay when not a lot of stuff is going on. However, um, and I think I've said this in a, a couple comments. When I'm when it's a control mirror, a lot of times stuff stuff like this is happening. And I think my opponent at this point might have just given up and decided to to rope out, which is stupid. <laughs> like, if you realize you've lost, just just concede. Just like you don't need to waste everyone's time, but whatever. Um, but when you know when when stuff like this happens where there's just a lot of passing of the turn, um, it is actually super difficult uh, to to vamp. Uh, to just talk about nonsense. Um, after a while, it should become a lot easier as more and more topics are... Uh, I'll, I'll know, like, what is engaging. Um, I'll know what type of threads will will get me places. And it'll just come with, like, life experience. Um, as of right now, I can't really talk much about my life in a succinct way because I'm I'm real boring. <laughs> not, not a lot of stuff uh, has happened. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, I graduated high school, I went to and graduated college, and now I'm in grad school, and over all those years, I've done very few interesting things. <laughs> Doing YouTube is probably the most interesting thing about me, I'm not even kidding, uh, like, other than the, the school thing. <sighs> Opponent is just taking every opportunity to uh, rope, and that's, I mean... I assume this, my opponent is doing this out of spite, right? Um, I mean, they're playing a blue-black control deck too, right? Like, it's like it's like a I think it's the episode of The Simpsons where some I think it's The Simpsons. I might be wrong, but like someone goes to jail, and um, okay, interesting. You're not gonna like actually use that though, so I don't actually care because I can fail push it. Um, do I even want to Doomfall their hand, right? Like, they would have played. They would have played something. Maybe they have Nexus of Fate, in which case, like, I lose anyway, right? Because it's an instant speed. They can they can pay for it. I don't have counter spells, so like, if they have Nexus, they have Nexus, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Um, man, I, I really hope my opponent doesn't have Nexus. I especially hope it's just not sitting in their hand and they're just being a bad person. Um, but like, uh, someone gets out of jail, and then uh, one of the inmates inmates like stabs themselves with uh, with a shank, and they're like, "Oh, so that's what I've been doing to people. I'm a monster, right?" So like, I I look at it very similarly here, where my opponent I'm pretty sure is like roping me because they're mad that like I we I've been controlling like I've been answering all of his threats, but my deck is literally just answers and a couple of threats, right? Like that's what my deck is designed to do, and that's what his deck is designed to do. Right? Like, how can he, how can he be upset with me answering his cards when his deck is supposed to answer cards? And I'm not saying, what am I not saying? I'm not saying that, like, that's bad, that all his deck does is answer cards as well. I'm playing this deck. I understand that this deck is just kind of pooping on players uh, being able to play stuff. I would love if, if they just accidentally said yes to that. That'd be f hilarious. Dude, you should totally do it. Oh darn, he didn't do it. I'm just gonna get rid of this now. Um Yeah, I don't know, it's it's I I might I might be incorrect. But like I have five cards in my hand. It's all removal. Right? I assume my opponent's hand is full of removal. The only difference is my hand stacks up a little bit better. Now, before this hits the graveyard, I'm going to go and do this. Because now you can't Gearhulk me, bro. And I two-for-twoed there, because I did get rid of their Disallow. Do I have another Elder Support, or did I use them all? I think I used them all. One, two, three. Huh. I guess I didn't. I should still have another Elder Support. Cool. 
not like I'm gonna get to use it. My opponent is either going to die, or uh, I'm gonna die of old age. <laughs> Oh, I have errands to do. I have chapters to read. I got some sweet psychology reading to do. I have to read a stats chapter. What you doing, opponent? I guess this is the reason that they can't do both. Is because there's there's they have to show it at the same time. Although, they could just offset this, right? So this would be down here, and then theirs would be, like, up above it. Like... You, you could just offset it. You don't have to... I don't know. <sighs> Can I have my turn now, please? I'm gonna go and scry. <laughs> sure, I'll keep it to full. And I'm just going to pass the turn. A lot of you might have been saying, You could have killed him by now with Vraska. Maybe. I assume my opponent's hand is like nothing but removal, right? They, they, they would have been committing threats if they had them. I assume their hand is nothing but answers. And they're the one under pressure. I'm not. So I don't need... If, if I committed to the board, right, they might be, be in a potential... Like, they have to do this for no value, right? And then I can just doomfall it and not care. Right? I'm pretty sure that's their last one. One, two, three, right? One, two, three, yeah. So that's their last one. So they can no longer get any value out of this card, right? I can Doomfall this, and I, I don't need to worry about another uh, torren Torrential. And if they if they counter my Doomfall, I have another one. And if they counter that, I have a Seal Away. It's very unlikely my opponent can win, unless they have Nexus of Fate. If they have Nexus of Fate, what that means is... They get to just loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here. I'm going to end the video. If they have Nexus Fate, I'm going to end the video. And I'm going to upload the video. And I'm just going to let them Nexus Fate. Because they have no they have no timer left, right? Eventually, they might run out. They might mess up. And I don't care. I can read in the background, right? I can just keep coming over, clicking enter. And then I go back to my reading. Just scroll down. That's the great thing about uh, having this in windowed mode. For those of you who don't know, this is windowed mode. Um, that's the great thing about it. I can just choose to, to slide it over to the left, only have the enter showing, and just press enter whenever I see it glowing. And then I just keep I just keep Chroma in the other uh, on the other side with my PDF open and just r read through that. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm not going to back down. <laughs> if they don't have a threat to kill me with, Then I'm just I'm just gonna let them die. <laughs> um, let's see. I could draw a card. I can't I can't see how many nine. Okay, I don't I don't need to draw an additional card. Like there's no reason for me to do that. So. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and doomfall this. Do you have a response to it? Is there anything you can do about it? I, when I sat down to record this, I expected to to face like two mono reds in a row, die to one of them, win against the other, because that's you know that's just how it goes, variants and stuff. I didn't expect to be queued against a blue black control deck with a player who. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was an absolute slog. <laughs> Oh, for everyone who stuck by me <laughs> during this atrocious video, I thank you. Um, but yeah, to, to talk a little bit about what I was saying before, like, essentially, it was just like having a little bar here, right? And there's there's a little space. I mean, some of them have more space than others, but you can even do it on the side, right? So, like, you'd have a little bar here, um, and maybe it's, like, a different color, so, like, uh, silver and then, or white and then silver, and then, uh, gold, and then the, the auburn, or whatever the heck brass color this is. Um, and then over here you have, like, percentage, and then, like, right here, right above it, you can, there's a toggle, so it'll be, like, one, and then four. So then you could just, like, press the one, and you see 
how how many one ofs you have, and then the four will obviously be smaller, um, unless of course you have like the whole thing. Um, so I mean that would be interesting. Um, it's not necessary. It's just a, a kind of a cool thing to have. Let's open some packs, shall we? Hello, people who are coming from uh, from the video, skipping skipping that nonsense. We that was loud. Uh, we did win, so that's nice. Um, our opponent did not have nice fate, and uh, we finally answered their last threat, so they conceded Would with two like cards left in the deck. Are you a good card? Top four cards of the library. No, no, you're not. You're not a terrible card. Uh, this card actually might be um, this might be better um after rotation with Selesnia. Top four cards. Reveal a creature card. I wish it said and. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. The fact that it has to have flying is a little frustrating. But it's probably fine. Meta might have a lot of dragons in it. Emblem with creature you control. You're plus two, plus two, and have vigilance, trample, and instructable. This, this, this card might actually, might actually get better. I see potential in this card. It's not good right now, but I see potential in it. Anyway... <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for sticking with me. Uh, that was that was a long video of me fighting one person. Uh, and I, I'd like to especially thank Easy Mode, Chris, Daniel, Flowerchild, and Chow083 for supporting me on Patreon. Your support helps a ton, making sure I can maintain the sweet decks that I'm playing. <laughs> if you'd like to join them in supporting me and supporting the channel, um, you'll find links to the Patreon in the description below. Uh, in the next couple days, I'm going to be restructuring it. I think I, I didn't get a lot of likes on the comment about making a Discord. However, um, being a, a psychology person, I do know um, that self-reporting tends to be relatively low on stuff like this. Um, so even if people wanted to, they might not have decided to. Um, so I'm probably going to make a Discord um, and incorporate that into my Patreon rewards. Um, I'm not gonna like force people to have, to be a patron in order to let them into the Discord, because I think that would be a little messed up, especially at the current level I am now. Um, but I will probably have like a, a Patreon-only channel um, where I talk a little bit more in-depth with people there. Um, maybe maybe they get like voice chat or something, right? I don't know. Um, but I think I'll be setting that up. I did see someone uh, in one of the comments talk about how they're, they like are super um, into Discord, so I'll be reaching out to you, you know who you are, um, within the next few days um, to, to get that set up. So I will be making Discord. Um, I expect it'll be super small uh, to begin with, and that's eh, that's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> um, gosh, yeah. Uh, if if somehow you watched this entire video and you liked it, or even if you didn't, please leave a like. <laughs> tap tap that like button. Add a subscription to a mana pool and cast a comment to the comment section down below. Talk about t comment about like whatever you want, but man, <laughs> talk about. Talk about uh, let's. What I want, what I want to hear today, is I want people to tell me what card in the current standard rotation they like the most. Because one, this will tell me how many people actually watch this hand card, <laughs> and two, I, I want some positivity. Yeah, you know, all this nexus of fate, the fairy nonsense running around. It's like super depressing. I don't need this. I would like you guys shut up, sink. I'd like you guys to comment on what your favorite card is in the current standard rotation. And until next time. <laughs>